Tuesday, Tryon, North Carolina, 67 degrees midday. Beautiful, beautiful day out. Sun, light breeze, just gorgeous weather, and uh, certainly one of the reasons we love it up here so much. Another message from Ezekiel. Remember, he's one of the major prophets, writes almost 600 years before Christ. And uh, he has an interesting message in chapter 35 through 37 uh, because he talks about a nation that appears to be dead. Uh, he calls it a valley of dry bones. <laughs> Sometimes I look at us as Christians and I say we're a valley of dry bones. We don't seem to have much impact in this world. We're criticized. We're not doing much. Uh, and uh, it appears that we're a valley of dry bones. Uh, but I want to remind you what happened uh, with the Lord's commands and the Lord's prophecies through Ezekiel to that valley of dry bones. You see, there'd been a lot of bloodshed. There'd been a lot of fighting, and Israel had wandered away from God, and some of the enemies had come in and slaughtered, and some of the Isra Israelites have have done battle and it's all about land and it's all about bloodshed and it's all about greed and and God says I know what I need to defend my reputation people are now looking at Israel as outcasts and as those that are defeated and I need to show them that they are still my people I need to show them uh, that God is still on his throne. God is just. God is a people. And he'll protect his name. And so in chapter 37, we see this valley of dry bones. And the question is asked in chapter uh, 37, verse 3, can these bones live again? <laughs> if we were to go to a valley and see a bunch of dry bones and somebody were to say, can these bones live again? We would say, certainly not by sight. It doesn't appear possible uh, that these bones could live again. So here's what Ezekiel says. So I prophesied as I was commanded and there was noise. Behold, a rattling. And the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, behold, sinews were on them, and flesh grew, and skin covered them. But there was no breath in them. Then down to verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came into them. And they came to life and stood on their feet as an exceeding great army. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if today we lived in that age when God's going to bring about a real revival? He's going to take the dry bones of Christianity. He's going to bring them together. He's going to put flesh on them, skin covering them. And then he's going to put breath in them. And then they're going to come together as a great army. Oh, not for battle, not, not for sword, but come together for righteousness sake and to show that the Lord, he is God. You see, that's exactly what it says in verse 13. Then they will know that I am the Lord and nations will know that I am the Lord. Wouldn't it be great if before he raptures his own out of this world and, and perhaps one more revival, one more time when God says, I want the world, I want the nations to know that I am God. If you read through Ezekiel chapter 35 through 37, I would challenge you to read and see how many times that the Lord says, I am the Lord. Uh, maybe not in those exact words, but in that meaning, I am God. I'm on my throne. Look and see how many times in just two chapters, three chapters, uh, that he says that over and over again that they'll know that I am the Lord and the nations will know that I am the Lord. You may feel like one of those dry bones today. <laughs> you may feel like you're just laying in the valley, baking in the sun. But God says that he will protect his name and he will always have a people. It's not just the nation of Israel. It's all of those that are called by his name. 
those that have trusted in Jesus. We may seem to the world like a bunch of dry bones, but I believe with all of my heart that God's going to call us together. Now, whether he lifts us out or whether he calls a great revival before he lifts us out, I'm not sure. But I do know this, that what seems impossible to man, a valley of dry bones, can become a mighty army for God. Hope that'll encourage you today. Hope that you realize that nothing is impossible with God. And although we may, many of us, be up in years, and although many of us may feel like a bunch of dry bones, God's able. He's able to protect his own name and to put life back into those dry bones and give it voice, give it breath. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.